welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is making some mosaic tiles out of resin. Now I've got these chocolate moulds, they're really really cheap and I'm going to try and pour the same depth in each one of a mixture of colours so I can use them as mosaic tiles. But what I thought this would be handy for is to have on one side like this and anytime you've got any resin left over you can just pour it in there and let them cure up and then you've kind of got your own made mosaic tiles. What I'm using here is some leftover resin I had in piping bags from a previous project and again I don't waste any resin I always put it into a mold or as I've been doing this I've been putting it into this mold and these are some pots that I've had left over as well from another project and I love these colors that have come out so why waste it why let it go hard in the pot when you could put it into something like this fill it up over time and make something beautiful with it well, these have all cured now and it's a case of taking them out of the molds and they can't look at this ultra micro fine glitter i love this ultra fine glitter or this micro glitter and it always stays well suspended so all i'll do now is take these out of the mold i will store them in an obligatory ice cream tub until i have enough to make some sort of mosaic with them. You're not gonna be having to wait for that because that'll be coming up right now. These large ones, I think as well, look really good and they make something that's quite nice for these to go around. I'm also gonna show you in the next step how to ensure that you can glue these down with a really great fit and to stop them coming up because they are resin and they are quite gloss shiny. Well, I've made myself this little wooden tray out of a piece of plywood that I had two small pieces that I glued together and put a little frame around it. And this is what I'm going to put my mosaic tiles in and then I'm going to grout it. But before I do any of that, I'm going to paint it using the Fancy Black by Arteza because I just absolutely love this color and how it comes out. I'll go over this with two coats of this and then if I need to touch it up at any time once the pieces are in there, it makes life a lot easier to be able to touch it up rather than having to paint it from scratch. Well, my tray's all ready now and I've finished painting it up. I've varnished the sides as well and the inside. I haven't varnished on here because there's no need to. And I've got all my lovely, pretty mosaic tiles ready. I'm going to do this just as a random pattern. I'm going to have the flat side of the mosaic tiles upwards, so the more concave side that's going down, because that will allow me to stick it down a lot easier. I'll be using hot glue to stick these down with, and that will be a really good way of sticking these down, because I am going to go over them with some grout afterwards. All I'm going to do is fill the little concave bit, and then stick them down with a gap around them and they'll stick to there really well. I'm doing a random pattern. I think that is going to look really pretty doing them without having to worry about doing actual picture or something. All I'm doing is I'm just taking them out as they come from the box and sticking them down. So I've got these larger ones here as well. I will be putting some of these in, but again, I will be just putting them in and around wherever I think, oh, that might need one. This shouldn't take me too long to do. And it is a great way of using up all your re leftover resin bits. And I think it's gonna make a really pretty tray. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do next once I've laid all these nice little squares in here. I've finished putting all those in there now and what I want to do is grout them up and they are honestly never gonna go anywhere. That glue has glued them in really tight. And I know that because I tried to remove this one, which I didn't quite put in the right place. I wanted it to be a bit further up. I just couldn't get it out. I'm using ready mixed waterproof wall grout for this because I want to finish off filling in all these gaps. And this is great stuff. I use this a lot for different things. I'm just giving it a bit of a stir. There we go, I've stirred that up to give it a really nice even consistency. And now I'm gonna go around and push on the grout and into these gaps. I'm using just a normal scraper. And it's really important when you're doing something like this that once you've finished scraping these on, you leave it just a few minutes and then get rid of all the extra stuff that's on the top that you don't need. It'll make life so much easier for you later on. And I've shown that before in my other videos on my other channel. 
And you don't have to use white grout. You can use, there's lots of different colored grouts that you can get and use. So I'm gonna carry on, finish this off, and then I'll show you what it looks like. My grout is nice and dry on here now. And all I've got to do is remove that. And I'm using a baby wipe and just going over and removing it. Because we scraped this off mostly before it dried, it does make it a lot easier. As you can see there, look. Well, now we've got that all cleaned up. I've washed all the grout off the front and I, it's all nicely cleaned and any grout that was on the sides. What I'm gonna do is let that dry for another 24 hours to ensure that that grout is fully dry in there. And then I'm gonna put a clear coat of resin over the top of it. The resin I've mixed up is just a normal one-to-one. -one. It's the J Diction resin because I love the way it comes out, lovely and clear and bubble free. Now I've mixed up enough to give a covering over this which i think is really important i don't want any gaps i want to say a quick thank you to all my awesome members of my channel whose names are coming up now thank you so much for your support and we are really getting to town now in the facebook group for members only and we do have a laugh and it's so helpful making sure that i've got all my resin out of this jug and moving that over and ensuring that I've got no gaps, because as you can see, there are one or two. So I'm using this mixing stick now just to push that resin out. Now this grout, because it is an all-purpose waterproof grout, it will have gone really hard. It won't release any air bubbles from it. And because I grouted down the edges and in the corners, again, no more bubbles will be released, which is really important because you don't want to leave this and then come back and it's full of little micro bubbles. But ensure that your resin is right up to the very corners and the very edges as well, because sometimes you can get a few trap bubbles there and you want those there that are gonna spoil it. So as you can see here, I'm just running my little palette knife here on my mixing stick around to ensure that any bubbles that have stuck onto the surface of these mosaic tiles or that have got caught up come up to the top. And now you can use a torch as well because this isn't silicon, so it's not gonna do any damage. Again, wonderful thank you to everybody that got me a coffee last month. I hope you're liking the little unicorn. Here are your names. It is so much appreciated because without your wonderful generosity, I wouldn't be able to keep this channel going. So now I'm finishing off, going over that again, making sure that all the bubbles are gone before I cover it up. And I'm covering it up here to ensure that no bits and pieces get in it or dust get in it. And now I'm gonna let it cure. Well, my tray's all finished now. It's come out absolutely beautiful, I think. And it's not overly heavy, considering how much work has gone into that. Now, you could do lots of different things with this. You could put legs on it, because it's easy to put legs on the base. Or you could have it in somewhere and put items on it. Or use it as a tray. Or a wall decoration. But yeah, I think it is a great way of using up all your leftover resin. I'm really pleased with it. I think that would sell exceptionally well. I will link everything I've used in the description below so you can get hold of it. If you don't want to make your own base and sides, then you can buy lots of different wooden trays that are out there that are fairly cheap. I'll list a couple in the description below that you could do this with. Let me know in the comments what you do with your leftover resin. I'd be interested to know. I'm always eager to learn and find new things out. Please boot that like button. It really does help my videos to get out there and it makes me smile too. <laughs> If you'd like to buy me a coffee or get hold of anything that I've used or access additional information, then the link for that is all in the description of this video. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next if you want to save yourself some money on making your own resin pigments because this is a big thing. They charge a lot of money for resin pigments. If you want to learn how to make your own at a fraction of the cost, then be sure to check out that video. I look forward to seeing you there. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.